Yesterday, my colleague Mary Kissel interviewed uh, Republican Senator John Hoven of North Dakota and asked him about the 2012 GOP platform. Let's listen in. North Dakota Senator John Hoven joins me now from Tampa to talk about the hashing out of the GOP platform. And he should know he's on the GOP platform committee. Senator, welcome. Mary, great to be with you. Thanks so much. Now, uh, Senator, very briefly, was there any kind of serious disagreement about what the GOP was going to stand for in this election? Take us inside the proceedings in Tampa. You know, we tried to get as much input as we possibly could. So even before coming down here, which we did last week, 112 delegates, two delegates from each state and the territories, uh, we had a website set up to take input from Republicans all over the country. We had more than 30,000 comments. And so we worked to have a very open process and make sure we got as much input so that everybody felt included. And we, you know, I think that really helped in terms of getting to a platform that, that really went uh, through with uh, a lot of support, and as, as you saw, it was, was passed today. Well, Senator, the, the big items aren't surprises uh, for reining in entitlements, uh, a, a, a growth economic strategy, um, but there were some interesting uh, new things added. One of them, for example, uh, the Gold Commission. Can you speak a little bit about that? You know, really, but, but that Mary, that goes back to uh, President Reagan. That's exactly the same uh, commission that was set up uh, back uh, when President Reagan was first elected. And it really goes to some of the concerns that uh, some members of, of uh, the Tea Party and some Republicans have in terms of making sure that we have a good, solid, sound monetary system. You also saw that auditing the Fed is in there. But again, with language that says, hey, it's got to be done the right way. And that's what I mean about making sure that we had a platform, you know, that, that you know, was inclusive. Um, we did it in a way to make sure that it's workable. So in the case of that gold commissioner or the, or the evaluation, uh, that's the same uh, commissioner, the same structure as was uh, included in the, in the platform when President Reagan was uh, elected. And in terms of the auditing the Fed, that's done in a way where we have language saying, look, it's got to be done to maintain the independence of, of the Fed, and it needs to be done the right way. Uh, Governor, I just spoke with Puerto Rico Governor, or excuse me, Senator, I spoke with Puerto Rico Governor uh, Fortunio earlier today about the GOP's immigration platform. And it's, it's right. very, very, some would say, anti-immigrant. It talks a lot about getting illegals out of the workplace. It's not as inclusive as, say, Reagan might have been. Uh, what was the thinking behind that, and uh, how do you anticipate it'll be received amid the Hispanic community? Well, first off, uh, Governor Fortuno is doing a great job. I, when I was governor, I was governor of North Dakota for 10 years. I served with Governor Fortuno. Uh, no, it's very much about being supportive of immigration, but done the right way. In other words, secure the borders, make sure you uh, enforce employment law, uh, have a proper guest worker program. Uh, but, you know, you, you'll see language in there that says, we recognize that th this was a country built by immigrants, and they have a tremendous amount uh, to add to, uh, to our country in, in many, many ways. Uh, but it's about doing it lawfully and legally, which is what people want. Governor, or Senator, I have less than a minute left. You hail from North Dakota, a big energy state. In terms of the GOP's energy platform, is the GOP for or against clean energy subsidies? Well, look, we want a market-based approach. So the energy approach is all of the above. Let's develop all of our energy resources, but let's do it with a market-based approach. And that means creating the legal tax and regulatory environment to stimulate private investment. Uh, you know, and that will create not only more energy, but better environmental stewardship as you unleash and deploy those new technologies. We've proven it in our state in a big way. North Dakota is an energy powerhouse. I've, put, I've introduced legislation into the Senate to do the same thing, and it's that private investment that will drive energy growth, that will drive job creation, uh, that will make a huge difference in terms of getting people back to work, reducing the deficit. It's key for national security because it reduces our dependence on foreign oil. That's the way to, to do it. We've proven it in North Dakota. That's what we can do as a country, and that's what we call for in the platform as well. North Dakota Senator John Hoven coming live to us from Tampa. Thank you so much for being with us.